Hello everybody and thank you for joining today. In today's experiment, once again, on that what you came to know as my Windows XP machine and which shall now receive a Linux distribution, we shall be trying out, oh gosh, <laughs> we shall be trying out Body Linux 7, the release candidate. See, the thing is, this is a Ubuntu derivative and one of that, which is based on the LTS version, the last body Linux, which is officially available, unfortunately targets the previous LTS release. And frankly, I find that too ancient already. So I went for the release candidate. And with that, of course, I also hope to show you something of proper recency and suitably curious. So we have booted. What was that? In, in like under a minute, we have booted. And what we see in front of us is what they call the Moksha desktop. Now when I right click, it shows favorite apps and no applications. It was written that the Moksha desktop is a little bit needing to get used to it. Like it's perhaps something which some people will find um, strange. So I'm just clicking my way around. What do we have here? Some clipboard thing, okay. Uh, notification center, this must be my keyboard. Okay, and so on and so forth. So this seems Actually, pretty standard stuff. Like, why not? What's the issue? This here, these must be my different desktops, I would assume. Chromium web browser terminology, that must be the terminal. Let's try. Ooh, the terminal is beautiful. Uh, <laughs> so, certainly that thing that thing shows these people know how to design something properly. Let's try here. Yes, exactly. It vanishes. And back here we are. Oh my God, is the icon a variant of the ADM 3A or 5A terminals? Very famous dump terminals of the like 1970s. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> All right, so we do have a nice terminal. So design-wise, I must say, body really takes the cake. I haven't tried any light Linux distribution that would look more beautiful. This is wow. <laughs> so unfortunately, the only little, little critique one may have is that it comes empty. I mean, it is insanely cute. Like everything about it is, is just great. When I click, I discovered this now. Right click on the desktop gives you nothing, but left click gives you a menu. This is very much like Window Maker, and I love this property because then you don't need to navigate all the time down there, which does matter if you have a big monitor, actually. So if you look at LeafPad, our dear usual normal LeafPad, which here does not have this weird reverted E, but just looks uh, in a normal fashion. <laughs> Even that has been adjusted to, to look cute, right? So, changes to untitled, no. So the only issue is that if you look here, you're having some accessoires like leaf pad, preferences, graphics, some e-photo, whatever that is. And internet, the Chromium web browser. And end of story. You don't have anything further. In other words, <laughs> This would be very much usable as a mini Linux if you have access to internet wherever you are. I mean, I do have now, so that will not stop me. But essentially, if you want stuff like LibreOffice or the like, you would have to install su such things. However, oh, terminology, this is, this is so cool. However, I believe we do have access to Ubuntu repositories. sudo apt up date no 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 we don't want to update actually abby word sudo apt install 
Abbey Word. Let, let's just install a typical nice 70 megabyte of additional disk space. Yeah, sure, go ahead, show me. <laughs> so you can install them whatever you want, but you're getting an empty shell. In other words, you're not getting as you would be getting with some other mini Linuxes, a lot of prepackaged applications. And whatever you do, you would have to do before you bring it to any remote place. So if you want to have a disk that has all sorts of things pre-installed, likely you would have to go for system remastering, which is also not the end of the world. Installation was, by the way, idiot safe. It was like, what was it? Eight clicks, 10 clicks, 12 clicks. It, it was not more than that. The rest, you just patiently wait. You go with the defaults and then you get the cutest mini Linux or medium Linux I have ever laid eyes upon. <clears throat> All right, so design-wise, body really did it. And now applications, what do we have here? Office, Abbey Word. And, oh, it's just because I'm at um, such a very low resolution that things look so strange. But other than that, uh, hello everyone, I, very much enjoy that it has a dark theme by default, like this is of course really great. So hello everyone, Let, let's make it even bigger, yeah? Uh, <laughs> hello everyone, yeah, that's a proper font size. And with that, I must say, in reality, I have a very interesting candidate here, one where the software selection is entirely left to me, which does leave us with a very reasonable um, shell, so to say, where resource usage, again, let's look at this, at 12 gigabyte is not too low, but not too high either. If you would say that an old computer might have a 30 or 40 gigabyte disk, what is this, half? I mean, you, you surely can live with that. And VM stat again is going to show us, yeah. So free is, ooh, less than a gigabyte now. So I have a one, I have a two gigabyte machine and it apparently has eaten one and a half. That's not a very bad thing. You can see it here actually that this is mostly taken by cage, but for a one gigabyte machine, body would definitely be an option. Well, there isn't really much to review here. I, what I could now do is, of course, install normal Linux applications and, and show them to you. But you know what they look like anyway. Maybe it would be interesting. What is then my default browser? <laughs> I mean, really, if, if Chromium is not my default browser, what is my default browser? But okay, yes, set as default. Then let's see how is the browsing speed. Let's go to bbc.com. So this is Chromium, not Chrome. And... Ah, oh, advertising cookies, no, I don't want. Book seven me finals with Australia, boat sinks, sports, weekend reads. And let's see, UK escapes to get away from it all. So my 20 year old AMD Athlon 64 3000 plus, if I go to food, is coping here just nicely. As body Linux is not way too minimalist, minimalistic, it is apparently utilizing my graphics card just properly, which ancient as it is, is present, and I'm just being here a little browsing. <laughs> so the conclusion is this is, this is really impressive. This is impressive enough that it might be considered as a main system. Well, and with that, today's review actually ends. And I really do hope you enjoyed it. 
see you next time and let's see whether we see some other operating system that might be fitting here but this one is certainly an os of possible choice so then have a wonderful day see you soon and goodbye